Hey rock stars! I um, just wanted to shoot a quick little video and show you how I keep myself organized and what is in my binder that I use for my business. Um, what I'm using is the ARC brand from Staples. This is not something that you would have to use. You can use um, the same templates and everything and just put it in a three ring binder. So it's totally up to you, but if you do go to Staples, don't forget we have our 15% discount. I also wanted to let you know that there is going to be in this description right there underneath there's going to be a link for um, the templates that were not available from 31today.com there'll be a link so you can find them in my google docs um, I unfortunately don't have um, time to email everybody that will ask for these so just make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description so you can download these and use them for yourself Okay, so I'm going to cut away to the binder, show you some things about what I do and how I keep myself organized. Alright ladies, so this is my binder. Um, we're just going to walk through um, some of the things that I have in here and um, so I can show you some good tips on how to stay organized. Again, keep in mind that you don't have to have this type. You can use a three ring binder, whatever works for you. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. The very first thing that I have is a zipper pouch. This keeps my order forms and checks and money and everything when I'm at a party. Keep it all together, organized. I know exactly where everything is. My next section, this is my calendar. Okay, so this might take a minute, but I'm going to show you all the different things that I do for my parties. So when I'm at the party and I'm making that booking, I can flip open to my booking calendar. These are found on 31today.com or taught. But you can go out there and print this out. It's got the current monthly special over on the side along with the hostess benefits. And then you can do this one of two ways. What I do is I go ahead and X out the days that um, I cannot have parties. And so when they book, I tell them basically you can book anywhere that doesn't have an X. Some people will do the opposite. Um, they will just highlight the days that they do want to have parties. So it's totally up to you and how um, you work best. For me, I have fewer days that I can't, um, and then I'm a little bit more flexible. But maybe you're not and you only have a couple days. So just do however it works for you. And then at the bottom, you can see that there's also a, a spot for party to go dates. I really try to do home shows first because um, catalog shows or party to goes typically don't build those relationships and the bookings that you need for your future business, but they're also a great little icing on the cake for the month too. So um, focus on your home shows and then book your party to goes. Okay. And then I have these sheets. These are for my hostesses. Um, I can print two on the front and two on the back. And this is just all the information that I need for my hostess so I can keep up with her and make sure that I'm doing everything that I need to do to make sure that she has a, a successful party and that we meet her goals and I meet my goals too. Um, and then I have my full calendar. These are This is my calendar for myself, for personal things that I have going on, um, school, everything else. Um, I don't like to keep that on my booking calendar. I like to keep it separate, but I still want to make sure I know what's going on. So. I've got my personal calendar as well. Okay, so this right here, this is my weekly to-do, so to speak. Um, over on the top left, I've got my top five for the week, communications that I need to have, weekly goals, and then over to the side, excuse me, over to the side, um, this is kind of like my to-do. As I get them finished, I highlight them and cross them off my list. And this would be good um, if you need to make hostess calls, um, coaching calls. You can just go ahead and write in the date that you're going to call her. So print out, I print out a month at a time, or two months really. So I have um, this month and next month already printed out. So I know if her party is, you know, October 2nd, then two weeks before that, I need to be making that phone call to her. So I go ahead and write it on here so I know what I need to do each week. You also may have goals that you want to meet for yourself, so you can put that on there. Or maybe there's a company or team incentive, and you want to keep track of that as well. So um, this is just like your to-do list. You can keep up with it, and it kind of keeps me on track and keeps me doing what I need to do. This is a, a divider that I keep in the calendar tab. Typically, you're going to see the current month special. I actually just ran out, so I don't have any September in here. But I'll keep the current month monthly special, and then on the back side... Oops. 
on the back side is the next month's special. So when someone books at the party, I can just flip this open and go ahead and slide that flyer into her hostess packet. And then I do the same thing again for the next month. So you can see I've already got October um, ready to go. You can also see that I need to make booking calls and get some more dates finalized for the Believe and Achieve incentive. But you can um, see, you know, it's a very easy way to keep up with everything that you got going on. Okay, the next section that I have, this is my action or to-do list, um, my action items. This is just a running list of things that I would like to accomplish. So this is my wow, do it now page. And this just has things that I learned at conference that I wanted to go ahead and implement into my business. You might listen to 31 minute calls or go to a CNC and you're hearing all these great ideas. So I have a page of things that you want to implement in your business right away. But then you're also going to have a sheet. This is your love it, do it later. So as you're hearing all these great ideas, you don't want to overwhelm yourself and try to do it all at once. So keep a list of things that you would like to do. These are also some good quotes that I heard from conference um, and books I'd like to read. I like to keep track of those as well. Okay. So my next section is follow-ups. And this is my system for keeping up with who I need to call and when I need to make those booking calls. So I keep a sheet for every um, every month, and so these are my booking calls for August. So when I'm at those parties and people are talking, they may not book right away, but they would love to have a party in four months or three months. So I'll go ahead and write their names down, and then when I sit down to do my booking calls, I know exactly who I'm going to call. I put their name and phone number and maybe who they booked from or where I met them. And so I will keep track of them like that. And then I've got September... Um, and then also, if, if I have corresponded with them, I will print out those sheets and make notes on it. And then I'll do the same thing again for the next month. So I've got October. <clears throat> again, any, any notes that I have for them. Um, November, December. Um, something else that you'll start to get, you'll start to get home office leads. And these are really cool. They're, they're awesome ways to... Um, build your business through the home office when you're a senior consultant. There's a couple of requirements. You have to be a senior consultant, have one recruit, and sell a thousand dollars. So if you meet all three of those requirements in a month, the next month you'll be put into the pool to receive home office leads. So when I get these, I print them out and then I make notes for everything that I have done with this person. I'm sure there are ways that you can do this online, but I am a paper person, so that's why I love my binder. Okay, so not only for bookings, but we also want to keep track of who we're talking to about sharing the gift. This is the conversation tracker that can be found, um, I believe, in step six of the new consultant training that you'll find on 31stay.com. The conversation tracker, this was a life changer for me and my business when I first started. This is a way to make sure that you're being intentional about talking about it, because if you're not talking about it, then nobody's ever going to join your team. So we want to make sure we keep track of it. And again, if anyone says anything to me, I will print out that correspondence and, you know, my kids will write on it as well. Or maybe, you know, we have, we have emailed back and forth. Um, a couple times or there's a Facebook message I'll print out those emails and then post them into my binder as well and then again I do the same thing for my catalog and uh, party leads that I get from home office and I always put the newest up front so I can remember to keep up with them because usually those are the ones that are corresponding back with you but until they tell me point blank, do not contact me to have a party or join your team or whatever it is, I will keep going back to them. You know, it might be six months and I, I might touch base with them with a quick phone call or an email. But until they tell me no, absolutely do not call me again. They stay in my follow-up tab. Okay, so this is um, miscellaneous forms. Of course, we've got our collegiate spirit, so I want to have this on hand at parties. I've got my personalization how-to guide. I've got my cashing in a great party. These are just tools that I might need when I'm at that party. Um, I usually have the little expressions order form in here as well. Also keep the income disclosure statement handy. 
Um, that way, if I'm if I'm at a meeting and I'm talking to a potential recruit about 31 and what kind of money she can make, I can just pull this out and talk with her about that. Um, the next tab, this is the training tab. Basically, what this is is notes. So there might be, you know, a book that I'm reading or a 31-minute call that I'm listening to or the CNC handouts that we get, conference, um, you know, conference notes, anything that I want to keep that is helping me in my business because you always want to learn. You never want to get to the point in your business where you think you know exactly what you're doing. Um, you know, it's always great to, to keep learning. So, you know, keep all your notes together so you can go back. I refer back to these notes. Um, and when I'm struggling with something, then I can flip back and look at what I've been, you know, look what I've been learning. And it really helps me out. Okay. <coughs> my last tab is just extras. Oops, sorry, I'm losing my binder here. Um, these are just extra pieces of paper, extra notes, um, extra hostess flyers, calendars that I print out, paper, just my extra so I, I have everything with me at, at all times. I've got a business card holder and then these are just some blank um, pocket folders that I can use too. So I hope this helps you out a little bit. I hope you get a feel for ways that um, you can be more organized with your business. And uh, you'll be more efficient at your party.